Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth and Mr. Beth. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Edward, Mr. Beth. We are going to do our best to get about a 55 minute whip and chat video recorded. We've got some Christmas topics that we're going to talk about and a little quiz and going to get Edward diamond painting. This is Hogwarts and Hedwig. We're just starting out on and everybody is commented saying that saying that they want to see Edward diamond painting so that's why the video is going to be on him. So we need to find the color that he wants to work on first. So which symbol do you want first? Let's do that blue symbol. Okay so you see what the symbol is so what you want to do is go over there to the legend. The 939. Okay. So open up the thing of drills. I've already got it kitted up, so open that up and find the drills. Here's a picture of the um this is the one that we're working on. There's a lot of that 939 color, so it's probably that very bottom one. Yep. Alright. So we just need to get you a few drills in here. So the way you open these containers is you push that in and then lift up. There you go. And be careful because they'll come out fast. You only need a few in there. Well, do you... Okay. <laughs> you can start out with that many. And then just push it down to close it back. There you go. Alright. Do you remember how to get the drills to line up on the tray? No. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh oh. Well, that's okay. Just slide it over into the spot that it goes on because it was right there at it. Okay. <laughs> you carefully shake it. Side. Oh, I need to turn it this way. I guess we should have gotten the tray that it came with the kit but I just grabbed the closest one okay there's you some that are facing the right way so that'll work so you work on putting those down on your symbol and I'm going to jump into one of the first topics I think need some wax I've already filled it well do you want to use the multi place or do you want to use single place I can use the single place okay I just figured you wanted a single place do you want a multi place no. Okay. Alright. So, I thought we could talk about something fun for the foodies. And I found some information about the most popular favorite Christmas treat according, or by state. So, for the U.S., it's an article that uh, has listed favorite treats by state. So, I guess we should start by saying, what is your favorite um, Christmas treat? Like homemade or what just the store? Christmas tree. I like the Christmas tree cakes. The little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. Yeah, yeah those are really good. And this year they have the the big, big size one, ones. Yeah. <laughs> those are actually a lot better to me than um, the regular size ones. And you don't like the chocolate ones. No, I didn't like chocolate. Yeah, you like the white tree, so. Um, okay, well, this says for the state of Wisconsin, Andy's Peppermints are their favorite treat. Those are really good. Sorry, our puppy's over here on the floor, and he's getting into stuff. <laughs> but do you do you like Andy's Peppermints? Yes. Like it's, even, it's like the ones they used to leave on your pillows at the hotel. Well, kind of, yeah. Um, a lot of restaurants have it as like an after-dinner mint. Um... The Andes, they're kind of like the perfect combination of chocolate and mint. And um, some people either, you know, I think most people, they either hate mint or they love mint. Um, I just, I happen to really love Andes peppermint. Um, and this is for Idaho, it's the candy cane. And I found that a little, you know, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't really expecting a candy cane to be on the list. He's concentrating. He has no comment. <laughs> what about the sausage ball? That's my second favorite. Oh, well, I don't know if that's on the list. Um, I just made some of those. 
Yeah, and they turned out really good. They were kind of large, but um, they <laughs> they're really delicious. <laughs> um, this is Arkansas, Connecticut, Florida, Michigan, Nevada, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, and Oklahoma. Is all cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. Yeah. Well, I love cheesecake, but I don't think about cheesecake for the holidays. Yeah. Um, Delaware and Vermont, and it says chocolate chip cookie. That's kind of an all year yeah. thing, I think, um, for for me anyway. You know, um, it's not holiday That's specific. What I, was about to say. I didn't. I don't consider a chocolate chip cookie holiday. Um, maybe it's a cultural thing. I don't know. Maybe um, a lot of places since we, you know, we live in the South, so. We're all about the sweets and the fried foods and the comfort foods. So maybe we don't have as much restraint when it comes to them. I don't know. Um, but for Illinois and New Jersey, it says chocolate Santas. So that's very on trend with the holiday theme. Um, Maine, it has chocolate truffles. Truffles are, they're good. They're like a, you know what a truffle is? It's kind of like the Linder Ball things we get sometimes, ain't it? Well, those are not quite a truffle. I think the truffle, the true truffle, has a coating of cocoa powder on the outside. Okay. It's like a fudgy center with cocoa powder on the outside, I think. Um, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, a Christmas trifle. Um, that's the thing that Rachel and friends messed up. She put bees, bees beef sauteed with peas and onions in her... <laughs> um, Kansas cinnamon rolls. Wyoming, it's actually a drink. What do you think the drink Wyoming eggnog? Yep, that's exactly their favorite holiday treat. Um, I think eggnog is another thing that, uh, like the peppermint, you either love it or you hate it. Um, I usually like one or two small glasses. A holiday season and that that's it I can't do a whole lot of eggnog um, never made it before never had it with alcohol before it's just a little kind you buy from the grocery store in a yeah, cart the only version I would like was the alcohol the alcohol one so you don't like regular eggnog mm, no. <laughs> uh, what if I tried to make like um, eggnog cookies I know I've seen a recipe for eggnog cookies well, cookies are different I'm like I don't know Cookies I, just, I don't different. like the taste of regular eggnog. Oh, okay. So I guess I shouldn't bother to try to make some then. Maybe you want. Then, you know. No, I really don't want to. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm fine just buying it. Oprah, stop it, baby. Um. Okay, now this, this, okay. Guess what it has for North Carolina and South Carolina. Uh, it's something I've never had. Something you never had. Pecan pie? I mean, caramel cluster? Uh, uh, fruitcake. Oh, fruitcake. Fruitcake, yeah. I was just asking Beth if people really eat those or what. I've had some before and it was pretty good, but I know most people give it as a gift and everybody like a fruitcake. Yeah, I've I've never had fruitcake, but I have had fruitcake cookies and those are really good. So, I would imagine I would like fruitcake, but I've just never had it before. Um, but, yeah, it's got North Carolina and South Carolina both. Fruitcake. And uh, who knew? <laughs> uh, West Virginia is at Fudge. Oh, yeah, that's good. Colorado and Maryland gingerbread cake. I bet that's good. Yeah, I do love some gingerbread. Then Pennsylvania, this. Okay, you probably wouldn't like it, but... I want to try it. Candy lobster or something? No. Gingerbread cheesecake. That sounds really good to me. Um, New Hampshire and Virginia, gingerbread man. So I guess it's a gingerbread cookie. So we've had gingerbread cake, gingerbread cheesecake, and now gingerbread man. Um, Arizona is another drink as the favorite treat. What? What other drink do you think? Christmas holiday drink. Oh, damn. Punch? I don't know. No. Hot 
hot chocolate. Oh. Well, I guess you would consider it a holiday drink, but I drink that year-round, too. Well, I put it in coffee every day. Yeah. But you got to think, it's Arizona. They're pretty hot. I don't know if it's quite all year round, but I would guess most of the year. So they're not going to drink hot chocolate all the time. Do you need tweezers? Yeah. All right. Let me Let's get you some tweezers. Down. So I guess technically we drink hot chocolate, but not as a beverage. It's in addition to some coffee. <laughs> um... Utah, okay, th what? It says Utah Jolly Rancher. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a candy you pick up at the gas station. Um, Alaska M&M's. I wonder how hard it might be to come by M&M's up there. Oh, really? It probably depends on where you live. Well, anywhere in Alaska. I mean, everything's basically imported up there. All I know is I saw the price of a cantaloupe one time, and that was crazy expensive. Uh, Iowa Oreo Balls. I bet those are good. And Hawaii Oreo Cheesecake. Mm, North Dakota, these are great. It's a kind of cookie. Uh, peanut Butter Blossoms. You know what those are? It's the peanut butter cookie with a Hershey's Chocolate Kiss in the center. Have you never had peanut butter blossoms? Nope. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, Oregon peppermint bark. Hey, peppermint bark. Here we go with more peppermint. California and Texas peppermint chocolate chip cookies. Oh man. That would probably be mm. a chocolate chip cookie. But yeah, with mmm. I might have to find a recipe. Um, in Minnesota, it says peppermint kiss cookies. Now, th these next four all have the same thing. Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, and Tennessee. And I'm wondering exactly what this, what context this is in. It says pudding. Um, I don't know if it means like jello chocolate pudding. Or if it means pudding like in bread pudding like um, we see on those British baking shows. What do you think? Well, what, does it give a flavor? Or just it just pudding? it just says pudding. It's probably a Christmas pudding, like the bread pudding, I'm guessing, then. I don't know. I wish it would have elaborated on that one. With with those states, though, it, I don't know. Um, Alabama and Mississippi, red velvet cake. You're concentrating so hard. You're doing such a good job. Washington State is Skittles. South Dakota is a sugar cookie. I love a really good, soft sugar cookie. But I've never been able to find a recipe to make one. What do you think about sugar cookies? I do like sugar cookies. With or without sprinkles? Eh, either way. Or how about that, um, the colored... Um, I think sprinkles would be better. The colored powder, like the Christmas powder. The no, not powder, the colored sugar crystals. Yeah, like red and green. Yeah. yeah. See, I like a good plain old even soft, icing. chewy sugar cookie. Sometimes icing, yeah, like the ones you get at the grocery store, but I don't know. I like a just a good old plain sugar cookie. I've tried using the bag mix to make them before, and they just don't turn out right. Um... Missouri, okay. You'll never guess this one in a million years. Baked potato? Babe, really? <laughs> Vegan Christmas cookies. I wouldn't like vegan anything. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We did have find a one of the veggie burger from that we liked from uh, Sam's at one time. Yeah, yeah, it, it was good. I would give it a try. I bet you with the spices and stuff, you might not even be able to tell. 
if it's cooked right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then Nebraska is a York peppermint patty. I'm surprised to see the York peppermint patty, the Skittles, the Jolly Ranchers. Those are not specific holiday things, you know. But this last one is from Montana. It's a Yule log cake. Okay, I know what those are, and I always wanted to try one, because we see them make them on the baking show we watch all the time. Yeah, the Great British Baking Show. Yeah. Oh, you know, having to get it rolled just right with the filling and all that stuff. It looks like a lot of work, but sometimes they turn out really, really pretty. Yeah, I've never had anything like that. I imagine they're kind of just like a giant Little Debbie Swiss roll. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it reminds me of. <laughs> That's what I would think, you know. But can you think of any of our favorite holiday treats that weren't on there? And all of these were sausage sweet. Balls. But sausage balls yeah. are savory. This whole list was sweet. But I do agree. Sausage balls is a favorite treat for the holidays because we really only have it at Christmas. Yeah, I think, yeah. Well, if we try to jump the gun and make them early. But, um... Anything sweet not on this list? Chocolate pie. Like a cream chocolate. A chocolate cream, yeah, pie. cream pie. For me, it would be a coconut pie. Or pecan pie. Well, I guess that's more Thanksgiving, isn't it? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, we would have those at Christmas time, too. Yeah. Pecan pie, yeah, for sure. And apple. Apple, apple pie. pie with vanilla. Yeah, how did how did North Carolina not get pecan pie? I don't know. I'm still stumped by the whole fruit cake thing. Okay, so that's the end of that. That's the fifty states. You know, allegedly, their most the most popular treats. Um, <laughs> for those states. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe the can those candies is like for they're including stocking stuffers, so it's desserts and stocking stuffers on the list. That would make sense. All right, so here's a quick little. Do you want some more diamonds? We can turn uh, some more I'll right side up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother hen over here trying to help. I, I need a bigger tray. I'm like, you need a bigger tray? Okay, I can get you a bigger tray. I don't have... I can't find... I don't know where my big white tray is. Um, I have one about... Hang on, let me empty it. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, let me get you one. Oh, I forgot. I've got drills in this. Hold on. Well, it's fine, babe. I'm, I'm good. I'm well, good. I can... um. Give me the tray that came with it. Well, that it's in our bedroom. Uh, How about this one? Yeah, work. Now that's a tray. That's a man size tray. Yeah, that'll work. That's from a Etsy shop called Muni Made. Okay, that's probably the biggest tray I have. Um. All right. So, a little quiz here, and everyone that's watching, feel. Welcome to participate in the chat. Answer in the comments. Well, this is going to be a premiere video, okay. so it'll have a live chat along with it on okay. Christmas Eve. Well, I'll try to be there. Well, we can be. I think we're, our video is going to go, I think, maybe at 5 p.m. Okay. Christmas well. Eve. So we can watch in, along and be there in the chat and talk with people. Okay. Um. All right. This is just a really short little one. There's, I don't know, about maybe... 15 or so. It's up all about toys. And I will give a year and a hint and the answer is going to be the most or the top selling toy, toy that, for that, that year. year. Okay. Right. All right. The year was 1961. And the hint is I always sucked at drawing on this. It's sketch. Okay, uh, babe, <laughs> good job. Let's give a pause and okay. give everybody in chat a second to, to give them an opportunity to get their answers here. Thank you, my There's no prize, honey. <laughs> 
Oh, gosh. But, yes, Etch-A-Sketch. I remember playing with one when I was a kid. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing, like, just twisting the knobs all crazy, like, and making, like, a Jackson Pollock picture and then shaking it to clear it off. Mm -hmm. All right. 1965. The hint is, are there any surgeons in the house? Uh, it, it, count to ten before you answer, Edward. Okay. <laughs> Are there any surgeons in the house? Yeah, this was popular when, yeah, when we were growing, we were growing up, too. up, too. Yeah, still is. Just different versions now. Yeah. All right, this is going to be Operation. Yes, Operation. I hated that game. I hated that buzzing sound. Opie, stop chewing on that. Stop chewing on that, baby. Here, get your ball. Get your ball. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to give him a Christmas treat and he'll be happy. You want a treat? Uh-oh, I better not say that too loud. Okay. The year was 1968. The hint is you make a picture with colored plastic pegs. Reminds me of diamond painting so much. This has to be like the first diamond painting-esque toy ever. I think I, I think I know this. Oh, I definitely had one. I think I have one too. It, it's still around, like like the the Operation game. It has been kind of reinvented, so to speak. I'm trying to think if it's the right name, though, what I'm thinking. I don't know if I got the name right. Well, what's your guess? Light bright. That's it. That is it. I had so much fun playing with that thing. That was the, you know... Like I said, the original diamond painting stuff. That maybe it was just getting me ready for what I do today. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, light bright. Okay, 1972. It was a card game. Again, still very popular to this day. It's had some new twists and turns added to it. It's very, it, it's very easy to be so competitive while playing this game. Yeah, I know. What I it's easy to ruin it for other people just by the drop of one card. I know what this is. <laughs> what is it? Uno. That is it. Uno. Yeah, you you throw down a pick four. Yeah. <laughs> ruin everybody's day or that re was it, what they have now a reverse card yeah, or draw draw six draw six yeah <laughs> oh man yeah highly competitive i know um of several families that play that game and uh it gets kind of heated <laughs> yeah we used to growing up too oh you did yeah we played a couple of times our our family, we played a lot of uh, Yahtzee, actually. We played a lot of card um, games. Uno and uh, Go Fish, Spades. When I got older, we played Spades a couple of times. I don't really remember how to play that. We'll have to... You know what? Easy. When we go on our vacation, we need to take a deck of cards and play card games together. That's what we need to do. Okay. Um, Maybe we can do that at night. Well, we can do it during the day, too, sometimes, honey. Okay, all right. Okay. 1979. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Back up. I skipped one. 1976. All you need is four in a row. Oh, this ain't real easy. I played this one, too. Yeah. It made me mad because I always got beat. <laughs> oh. What is it, honey? Connect four. That's it. That is it. Still popular to this day, I'm pretty I'm sure. Wax is starting to not pick it. Oh, no. Um, well, it might be because it's putty in there. I tell you what, let's take a pause for a brief intermission. We will be right back. <laughs> Copyright strike. All right, we're back. Let's see Mr. Mr. Beth load wax into his pen. He'll be a professional diamond painter before we know it. Everybody's going to appreciate you doing this, honey. Mm -hmm. They really do enjoy seeing you. I, t I tell you. I think you're their favorite. <laughs> okay. Uh, what were we on? We just did Connect Four. All right. Now, 1979. 
She smells fruity. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a doll? Yes, okay. it is a doll. I know what it is. I had her and some of her friends. And she's still popular. Matter of fact, Dreamer Designs just released one with her on it from one of their artists. Although she had a different name, but you can tell by the image that it was her. What's the answer, babe? Strawberry shortcake. Yes, sir. That is it. I had one of the dolls, and she smelled so good. So good. All her friends, blueberry muffin, and there was a blueberry one. There was a meringue, a, and there was a lime one. And I remember she had like this worm guy that wore a top hat that she wrote on. I, that's I, I really don't remember much else about them. <laughs> um, okay, you might know this one right off the top of your head. I never had one of these, but my brother did. For 1980, their competitions. To see who can solve it the fastest. Nineteen eighty. Mm-hmm. Competition. So you can solve it the fastest. So this a board game. No. It's not? Not a board game. Oh, I know. Rubik's Cube. That's it. Did you ever have one? Yes, I did. Did you solve it? Yes, I did. Did you cheat? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. My Aunt Dina actually got it for me for Christmas. Oh, really? My first Rubik's Cube, yeah. Well, I remember I quote unquote borrowed my brother's and I quote unquote solved it by peeling off the stickers and putting them all the same side. <laughs> Because I got so frustrated with not being able to figure it out that I just tore the stickers off and put them back. But you could totally tell, of course, because, you know, it had the creases in the sticker and I ruined some of them and everything. Pitiful. But I never picked it up again after that. I mean, just, except for like a fidget toy just to spin the, the pieces around and stuff, you know. Okay. In 1985... They had birth certificates. They also oh, had a smell they, to them. They still do. They, yep. I've still got some of mine. I remember this toy was so popular. This is one that caused like crazy mad dashes on Black Friday sales. Like people get trampled and everything looking for these things. So what do you believe it is, babe? That is it. Well, it's, it calls it a Cabbage Patch doll, but same difference. Um, yep. I had a few of them. Um, and a matter of fact, I think I still might have some of them thrown in a box somewhere. Um, you know how they had their hair was made out of yarn, actually? Um, <laughs> me being the little girl and loving dolls as much as I did, I tried to brush their hair. Ruined it. Because it's yarn, you know. So all my dolls have like a little bit of frizz. Hey, just like me. <laughs> all right. You'll get this one. Easy peasy. 1989. Cowabunga. You name me <laughs> Yep. So sorry for our studio audience who did not get the pause to oh, put sorry. in their answers. <laughs> yep. Now that was... I didn't realize that came out in 89. I didn't hear that come out later. Uh-huh, because that's... My younger brother was into those. And well, he wasn't born until... He was born in 87. We we were all into me, Tim, and Brian. That's your three brothers. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah my younger brother was in them. I don't remember my older brother ever being into them. Um, my older brother was into the Star Wars stuff. But I don't yeah. remember him being into the Ninja I, Turtles. I was in Star Wars, G.I. Joe... And then the Marvel figurines. Yeah, yeah, that was my older brother, too, the Marvel um, X-Men and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, okay, even Ninja Turtles, are, are they're still around. They've kind of been yep. reimagined, yeah. and they look a little different, yeah. but they're still around. Yeah. Um, okay, 1991, the first Nintendo portable game system. 
And it did that. Portable. Oh, portable? Oh, that's the Game Boy. Yep, the Game Boy. The original little gray brick. Yeah. <laughs> I had one. You had one also. We had to share between the three of us. Oh, you did? We we did we did get our own. Um but we didn't have very many games on them. Yeah, we didn't either. All we had was Tetris, and the only time we could really play it was when we were having trips, like going to New York. In the car and stuff, yeah. yeah. That was the only time we got to really play with it. Well, you think of how far Nintendo has come since then. Now it's, you know, the, the Nintendo Switch is the, the portable thing. And you play and, it on your TV. Oh, yeah. yeah the, but it's also portable. Yeah, the Switch. You can, and the... I. The only game that I hear about it for that one is really Animal Crossing. I mean, there's there's adults that diamond paint that play Animal Crossing. Um, I've just it's not got any interest in it, um, but I haven't really looked at it much either because I know that would mean we have to get a, another game system, you know. Yeah. But um, Nintendo's been around for a long time. Uh, what okay. Was before Nintendo. The Atari. Yep, I still got one. At my Wasn't there house. something before Atari? I don't think so. I think Atari was the first gaming system. Oh, I thought there was something before Atari. Um, okay, in 1993, I would never get this in a million years. It's not in my wheelhouse um, by the hint. It just says, winner by fatality. Oh. I knew you'd get that easy. right away. <laughs> yeah, I know you. Yeah, I know your brother Brian would get that video too. Video game, yeah, because we had that video game. We had all of them. <laughs> they're still making different, you know, I think they're like on 16 or 11 now. Oh, yeah, they are. And it's, you know, all the new graphics and stuff, too. It's, you know, like a martial arts type thing, yep. would you call it? Yeah. It had movies. Had a new movie just come out based on it. You want to give the answer? Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Winner by fatality. I never would have gotten that in a million years. Now, this next one, I would have gotten. I remember when this came out, I tried so hard to find one to give to my best friend at the time because she wanted it so bad. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's 1996. I think we had to get one for uh, Brian or Elizabeth. Probably. It was hard to find. The clue is laughing red guy. Oh, so maybe you don't know the answer. I was thinking the little electronic thing. No. The not a Tamagotchi. Thing. No. That's what you were thinking yeah. of. Yeah. No, Laughing not a Tamagotchi. Red Laughing red guy. Was it a Stretch Armstrong? Ooh. This is 1996, babe. Uh, Laughing red guy. I don't know that one. What? It tickled me Elmo. Uh, yeah, Elmo. Y'all weren't really into the Sesame Street thing? I was into Big Bird when I was younger. <laughs> well, yeah, in but 1996, like the Tickle Me Elmo came out, and Jenny loved Elmo. That was her favorite uh, cartoon character, and I wanted to get her one of those so bad, but... It's like a Cabbage Patch doll all over again. Impossible to find. And with yeah. me being 16, at the time I was working, so I had a little bit of my own money to spend, you know. But I was in school and didn't have a license or a car, so I couldn't exactly go shopping whenever I wanted to try to find it, you know. Yeah. So it was limited to just a little bit of little bits of time on the weekends or whatever and just never found them. Um... All right, in 2002, so maybe you can get this because of Kindle. I'm not sure. Teen fashion dolls with big heads. <laughs> that yeah, cl that clue one. cracks me up. <laughs> Teen fashion dolls with big heads. <laughs> That's the description that sometimes people talk about diamond paintings. I'm talking, you know, no more big-eyed girls, you know, stuff like that. I guess it has to fit into your your taste. But teen fashion dolls with big heads. You ready? Sure. Bratz dolls. That's them. Was Kendall ever yeah. into those? Yeah, she was into those before she got into the Monster High. See, when we started dating, it was Monster yeah. High. And I remember I actually even had fun shopping for the Monster High dolls yeah. and stuff. 
um, gosh, I remember our first Christmas. I absolutely went crazy buying her stuff for Christmas. Yeah. Bought her the Monster High castle. castle or the school. It was like a think Barbie house, you know, something yeah. like that. But Monster High stuff. And I don't know how many of the dolls, yeah. a lot of them. Um, and the next year we got her even more of them too. But she outgrew them so fast. Yeah. Um, but it was so much fun. And that's when she was into, um, what's those little, little miniature oh, rubber the, food things? Yeah. Uh, uh, what are those things called? I can't remember. Oh my God. Everybody's probably screaming it at us. Um, yeah, Shopkins. Yeah, Shopkins. Shopkins. Yeah, because she used to collect those too. She, she kept all those though. They're somewhere in her room. So anyway, all right. In 2006... See, I don't get this clue either. In 2006, this broke a lot of TVs. Oh, I think I get it now. Was it the... The... It wasn't... It was the Wii U because of nunchucks? Nintendo Wii. No, Nintendo Wii. Yeah, the Nintendo Wii, the I guess. Nunch the, the, the nunchuck people slinging it out of hand. Uh-huh. It would come out of their hand and fly and hit it, the TV. It did fly out of my hand a few times and hit the TV, but I never broke the TV. <laughs> yeah, at first I didn't get the whole, when I it was broke a lot the, of TV thing. Yeah, playing the tennis and the golf. See, I got a Wii, and I hooked it up myself. But do you do you know what I used it for? Why don't you guess? I've told you. Maybe you remember. Exercise? Babe, do you know me at all? I don't know what you use it for. <laughs> I used it to watch Netflix. Um. <laughs> I didn't use it for games ever. I have the gaming system, but no games. I used to do the daily because they had a daily exercise you can log on. I used to do that daily. Oh, Mr. Muscle Man. You trying to impress all the ladies, huh? Hey, you can burn some calories. <laughs> I was sore. You know what? After we had a tennis tournament against my dad and Pam. Oh, wow. On theirs, and it was like an all-night thing. We played that thing for about seven, eight hours straight. I bet that was a lot of fun. Yeah, but I was sore. I was like, I can't believe a game would make you hurt that much. <laughs> well, because you're doing the actual exercise, yeah. you know. Ten playing tennis is fun. I remember I used to have a racket, and I would go down to the park and, and play, you know. But, yeah, that's, it's a lot of exercise, man. Okay, the last one. It's from 2016. And it needs love to be born. We almost got one for Kindle, but we saw the price tag and we said no. That was the, uh, is it called Hatchimal? Yep, Hatchimal. Yeah. Needs love to be born. Um, what were they like? Sixty, yeah. seventy dollars, and yeah. just knowing how Kindle is, and it was just a fad thing. It would last all of five minutes, and then that'd be it, you know. So we decided against getting one. Um, but they did look cute. The idea was was fun, you know. But um, it reminded me of Furbies too. Yeah, <laughs> Furbies freak me out, man. So, that is it uh, on this little um, top toys thing. So, so how many of these did we have, babe? We had Etch-A-Sketch. We had Operation. We had Light Bright, mm -hmm. Uno, Connect Four, Strawberry Shortcake. Did you say you did have a Rubik's Cube? Yep. Rubik's Cube, Cabbage Patch Doll, Ninja Turtles. Yep. Um, a Game Boy. You played Mortal Kombat. We didn't have Tickle Me Elmo. Through Kindle, you had Brad Stalls. We had Wii U, or the Nintendo Wii, and no Hatchimal. So, of all those, we only didn't have two of them. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. And that's going all the way back to 1961, babe. I knew you were old. <laughs> but how fun. That's, you know, a lot of nostalgia there, looking back at those popular toys and things. So, what is, let's, let's just say, what is your favorite... Christmas gift of all time that you ever remember getting? Uh, probably basketball goal. 
I am shocked. What? Your daughter was born on oh. Christmas Day. Okay, my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> no take backs. It's on video. You <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, my bad. So funny. Um, but I guess maybe a human doesn't count. That shouldn't be. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't count. I, you know, we, at the hospital Christmas, I really didn't even think it was Christmas. We didn't celebrate Christmas until we got home. And she was actually born premature, yeah. so. Yeah, so we wasn't exactly. Planned. Planned in advance for a Christmas baby, but. Okay, I should. Let me rephrase. Outside of Kindle. <laughs> Your favorite Christmas gift of all time. Basketball a basketball goal. goal? Yes. So, how about how old were you when you got a basketball goal? And was it just yours or it was given well, to was all, all the kids? All three, uh, all just the boys? Yeah, all three. Well, we got it before the girls were born. Okay, so you... Brian and Tim. Brian and Tim. Okay. What it, what it, basically, all the presents... That we got, they, it was always one big present for all the kids, like a game system, the basketball goal. And as the years progressed, and more kids were added, yeah. it just yeah. yeah it well, that makes sense. I, I well, like that. Which they played on it too once they were born. But I like was, that. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good idea. That's just how my how my bad because we had so many of us. Yeah, there were six total, including yeah, six, you. Yeah, six total. So they would just get one big gift, which would be for all of us. Like a game system or a trampoline, a pool. Wow, a pool. Yeah, we well, get a pool one year. Well, that's fun. Got yeah, a trampoline I, one year. I totally get that now. Probably, if that is how it happened when I was growing up, I wouldn't have understood, but totally now, I get it 100%. Oh, we understood. That's actually really smart. Because there's so many of us, you know, so I understood, and then I was happy either way, and then the rest of the, you know, small gifts was like clothes, or, or if we got a game system, we each wanted this different game, we would each get, you know, a game. You know, have you seen people are debating about that now online, whether or not clothes are a gift? Oh, yeah, because people are saying, you know, clothes should not be a gift because children need clothes all year round, so they shouldn't count as a gift at Christmas time. Yeah. I think if it's something like an expensive pair of tennis shoes yeah, or expensive a designer pair of jeans. jacket, did your wax come out? Well, I, just, I keep putting more in. Oh, you got to squish it in. Hang on. Let me see, babe. But yeah, you know, like when that, we were growing up, everybody wanted a starter jacket. Yeah, that's what we got for Christmas too. Like you know, that, that yeah. I, that's the clothing. Pool, but I think that would one, like that would zip up one. yeah, that would count because they were so expensive. You know, yeah. things like that, not that's, your everyday. Yeah. yeah, things like that we we wouldn't get just for school school shopping. School clothes shopping, it was you know cheap. But like Beth said. For Christmas, it would be some little nicer clothes, a nicer shirt, starter jacket, a uh, nice pair of shoes. Like for school shoes, it was air chickens, <clears throat> athletic clubs. Air chickens. We call them air chickens. <laughs> what the other kids I can't school. with you with you air chickens. Well. Maybe used to make fun of us first day of school because we had. You know that we, that's so that messed them. up that kids pick on other kids for mm -hmm. things like that. You know mm -hmm. it shouldn't matter. Look who got the new air chickens? It didn't phase me. But you know what? I bet you if they those were to come out these days, they would be popular because they'd be like retro. You know, isn't it funny how things like that mm -hmm. circle around? I'm trying to think of what my favorite Christmas gift of all time is. And I really am coming up with a blank, um, which is sad. Mm. I'd have to say, like, when I was a kid, things that stand out the most to me are things like my Cabbage Patch dolls or Barbies. I was so much into Barbies. It was crazy. I had the Barbie Dream House and the Barbie dolls and the Ken dolls and all of the accessories and the clothes and the car. I had a Barbie gym. I had the the um, Barbie rocker concert stage. All of that. But also, I remember getting <coughs> a little bit older. And as I matured, I liked... 
I actually went through a girly phase where I liked, you know, like silver jewelry, like a silver necklace or a silver ball earrings or a charm bracelet or things like that. Um, I love the Pandora bracelet you gave me and that, that first charm that you gave, gave me the heart, mm -hmm. the little rhinestone heart. Um, I don't wear it really anymore because I don't go anywhere to wear it. Um, but I still love it very much. And I guess my dog, he, he needs to count as Maui counted for you, mm -hmm. as, you know, Christmas, birthday, Father's Day. So Opie counts as my birthday and Christmas and yeah. Mother's Day and all that. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> but, you know, you know, <coughs> We didn't, um, we did get a basketball goal, but I think that was given specifically to my older brother. I don't really remember us being given a group gift like that. With us, it was different. <coughs> um, because there were only three of us. My older brother and myself were three years apart, but there's seven years between me and my younger brother. So things that would be suitable for the older two wouldn't be suitable for the youngest, yeah. you know? And it was different. Because I was the only girl. Well, yeah, because, so, you know, like, yeah, growing up, <coughs> the boys would get the big gift, and then they would get, like, a gift for the two girls, my two sisters. Because they weren't really into playing games. Because after the basketball goal and the pool, now the pool and the trampoline was for all of us, but then after that, it was kind of, you know, the girls got their thing, and we got our thing. Um, let me see. How are we in time? We are getting close to being through with our time. Wow, that flew by. Um, I do have a couple of, um, easy Christmas movie trivia questions that we can try to do real quick if you're up for it, babe. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do these kind of rapid fire a little bit and see how we go. Uh, which actor plays Buddy in Elf? Will Ferrell. In which city is Love Actually set? Seattle. I don't think that's right. What is the name of the boy left behind in Home Alone? Kevin McAllister. Which actor portrays Graham in The Holiday? Ooh, I don't know that one. Uh, Graham in The Holiday? Graham in The Holiday. I don't know that one. I don't know that one either. Where does the train go in the Polar Express? To the North Pole. Who directed It's a Wonderful Life? Oh, that's such a good movie. I don't know that one. I don't either. Who directed it? Um, I haven't got a clue. In The Princess Switch, who plays the Duchess of Montenero? It's one of your princess movies, babe. Vanessa Hudgens either plays the Duchess or Selena Gomez plays... I mean, Dem Demi Lovato plays the other one. I can't, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> one is the princess and one is switches with her. But it's Demi Lovato and Vanilla Vanessa Hudgens that okay. are the two main characters. All right. I think. In Love Actually, one of the couples is played by two Harry Potter actors. Who are they? Ooh. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe was love actually. Was Daniel Radcliffe in love actually? Mm -mm, Bonnie, no. Bonnie Wright and probably her husband, something Cleason. Hang on, because I gotta find the answers. Or was Emma Watson and Draco in there? Tom Felton. Emma, Emma Thompson and Alan Rickman. Oh, that's okay. right. Yeah, I remember yeah. Alan Rickman now being yeah. in that because he's the one that almost has an affair. Yeah. Well, actually, they they play a married couple yeah, in yeah. love. Actually, yeah. he almost has an affair, yeah. or he's having an emotional affair, and she finds out about it. Yeah. Um. And this last question is not grammatically correct, but it says, "How are Christmas crackers called at Hogwarts?" What do you mean, how are they called? I guess it may, maybe means what are they called? What are Christmas crackers called? Christmas poppers? 
I never no, was cracker, told. like you eat. Yeah. And, well, no, I think. No, maybe not. The Christmas crack, crackers <laughs> in Hogwarts, they, they pull them and they pop off like fire. Oh, okay. So like that kind of cracker. Fire. But I guess it's got a specific... I don't know. Um, this says wizard crackers. Okay. And the, the Princess Switch one was Vanessa Hudgens. Okay. Um, Love Actually is in London. I was thinking uh, that Sleepless in Seattle when I said Seattle. My bad. <laughs> you said Seattle. Oh, you're so funny. Okay. Where does Buddy travel to in Elf? Is it New York? Could be. <laughs> Um, complete the name of the movie. Miracle on... 34th Street. There you go. Who played Ernest in Ernest Saves Christmas? Ernest P. Wall. Wasn't that his real name? No, Jim Barney. Barney was his real name. <laughs> Ernest played Ernest. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I just... I finally watched White Christmas while you were gone yesterday, babe. We can watch it again if you want to watch it with me. Why Christmas is one of my absolute favorite Christmas movies. Um, this question says, during which historical period is White Christmas set in? Is it Great Depression? Because it was after World War II. Well, it the very beginning of the movie, it's, it's World War II. Yeah. And the rest of it takes place just after the war. Yeah. Which one of the following actors was not in Home Alone? Macaulay, Cul Macaulay Culkin, Catherine O'Hara, Joe Pesci, Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy wasn't in Home Alone. Okay. For which British newspaper does Iris or Kate Winslet work for? I guess is that from Love Actually? The Sun, the Daily Express, the Daily Telegraph, or the Guardian. I don't know that one either. The Guardian. The Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> Who was wearing the ugly Christmas jumper in Bridget Jones? You know what a jumper is, right? Renee Shells. Renee Shells. No, it's got character names. Oh, I can't remember. But what is a jumper? Jumper is like, like a sweater. Yeah. Um, which Vampire diary star is also in the Christmas movie Love Hard? I don't know, I don't know either. Maybe that's Nina Dobrev. She was in that yeah, other yeah, Christmas Nina, movie we just watched. Yeah, yeah. The Love Hard, I think. Who was Tom Hanks in the Polar Express? Damn, he was a bunch of kids. He was the conductor. No, the narrator. Oh, is what yeah, they na have uh, narrator. Mm -hmm. um, trying to think of one final question. Um, well, they got this one wrong. In which small town is It's a Wonderful Life set? Fantastic movie. Absolutely love it. It's another one of my top favorites. Which town? Bedford Falls! Such a good movie. Okay, well, we've got like one minute left, so we need to say our farewells. Look at all the work you got done, babe. Very good. And you single-placed all that? There's a little bit of wax residue we'll have to clean up. Yeah, because I tried to do the multi-placer, but this is like they're too far apart, so I didn't know I had to push them together anyway. Oh, okay. Well, we can clean that up. It's no problem. We can do like Mrs. Coffee says, and when we're done, it'll actually kind of shine the drills. You did very good, honey. I'm proud of you. Yep. So All long, right. farewell. Alvider <laughs> saying goodbye. <laughs> that's from my favorite Christmas movie, Sound of Music. Is that? That's not really a Christmas movie. They escape during Christmas time. 
Okay, well, if we're going that far, then okay. Well, Babes in Toyland ought to be on a Christmas movies list, and I never see anybody talking about it. The remake version with Keanu Reeves and Drew Barrymore. I watched it last night. It is such a good Christmas movie. So anyway, thank you all for spending this time with us. We hope everyone is having a wonderful and happy holiday season so far. Whether or not you celebrate Christmas, we're glad you were here with us. And I hope that everyone continues to be happy and healthy and mm -hmm. diamond paint to your heart's content. Mm -hmm. And you'll see me next time on Diamond Paint Painting with Mr. Beth and Ed. Or Mr. Beth and Beth. <laughs> Mr. Beth and Ed. You are so funny. You crack me up. I love you. We, we love you guys. Yeah. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.